Welcome back, everybody. Happy Monday to you. Well, shooting hoops to help others. That's what drives alumni from Box Elder High School to put on a charity basketball tournament every year. Yeah, they're celebrating their 30th year of playing for two families that could really use a big assist right now. New specialist Tamara Vifanua with the story. So it's kind of our March Madness in Brigham City. Crowds have been churning out since 1993 to cheer on alumni from Box Elder High at the annual Todd Morrison Alumni Tournament. 24 teams, we have three brackets. Uh, we call them the, the old, the middle, and the young. Keith Meekum is one of the four founding members. He coached basketball at Box Elder for 19 years. Seeing family, friends, uh, former teammates, community members come out, it's been a great, great thing for Box Elder High. Taking to the court is more than just a game. We get to uh, raise money for individual families and uh, that have, have some tough health issues. Like the Clay family. Cutler and Bailey are graduates of Box Elder High. They have two daughters, two-year-old Covalin and 10-month-old Waylon, who have spent a lot of time in the hospital. They have some congenital uh, heart defects. The foundation will also assist one of their own. Mike Franzen was a star point guard for the Bees. He was okay to give the credit to all of his teammates, and he played with a, a really good senior group of boys. The former player who was suited up for the tournament in the last 16 years is sitting out this year. He was recently diagnosed with stage 4 colon cancer. He's the brother-in-law of a KSL employee. I just hope for him, you know, I hope he can get the cure that he has and um, that he wants and desires. Whatever the challenge, this small town steps up on and off the court. For KSL News, I'm Tamara Vaifanua. I love the community there. Well, thanks, Tamara. The tournament will be held at Box Elder High School on March 17th and 18th. There will be a silent auction as well. For more information on how you can donate, we'll link you over on our website at ksltv.com.